Hi, this is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm in Las Vegas at the PubCon conference with Kate Morris, who's an expert on search marketing. Today, Hi. Kate, I want to talk about uh, tips you've got for bidding on keywords in Google AdWords. What okay. are some, some tips you have that can save uh, our viewers some money? Well, probably the, the number one tip is that you don't always have to bid for number one. Always, always, always. A, a lot of people think that that number one position is the absolute best position, and that's not always how it is. A lot of the times... Don't I get more traffic if I'm number one? Yes, yes you do. But traffic is not always the best thing. You don't want traffic, you want sales. Well, that's true. Exactly. And a lot of, the, uh, a lot of people don't understand that if you, if you log in, and, and you see your statistics within Google AdWords, especially if you're tracking conversions, if you're spending more to get those leads than you're selling, you might bump down a couple of positions. You will see less traffic, less clicks, but you'll, you'll be spending a lot less and you'll be getting better traffic. Now, I've heard that you, get, you, you often get better conversion rates with a lower position. Why is that? Well, actually, some people, there, there have been studies done that say that the people who click on the number three, number four spots are the ones actually doing research to buy. They're not doing impulsive things. They're, they're not, this is their second, third try, and they're mm -hmm. actually ready to buy. So it's better traffic for your business. Okay. So you may not get as much, but you're likely to have uh, a lower cost per click. Yes. And yes. higher conversions. Exactly. Which, which. Um, increases your ROI and makes your CEO very happy. Okay. <laughs> Any other tips on bidding? Well, uh, along along with the, the whole you don't have to be number one thing, a lot of the times businesses rank really well, we all hope, for certain keywords that they're targeting. If you're ranking number one or number two for certain keywords... In organic search. Organic search, the, 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 right. the natural side of things. By all means, do not be number one for that search. You are then paying way too much for something that you're already bringing in naturally for free. Don't turn it off completely. Bump your bidding down to four, five, six. That will line you up with your number one, number two positioning. Ah. And studies have shown that that actually increases conversions to your natural listing. Syner synergism. Exactly. <laughs> it's. It's a brand thing. Yeah. It's, it, it actually heightens trust so, with the searcher. So if you're ranking high for a keyword, also bid on it. Yes. And it'll create a synergetic effect. Exactly. And you're saying, pull it down so that it will line up horizontally with, with. your ad so the eye will be able to yes. see it. Yes, yes. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. As much as possible because everybody who runs AdWords knows Google doesn't always keep you right there. You will jump up and down right. just like your natural rankings will. but. If you generally stay there, try to keep that one about okay. there too. Any more tips for us? A lot of businesses, especially small businesses, are business to business or they're business to consumer with very specific people in mind. Geography. Google has a wonderful, wonderful geography. Um, we'll actually let you do demographics based upon the state, the area, the zip code. There's so many options. If you're only selling to a state, if you're a local business, be sure that you're restricting to just that area. Yeah. It'll bring down your costs substantially. Other, otherwise, you might be getting clicks from Bulgaria in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> and that really, really is not good when, when you get a form filled out in a language you don't understand. Exactly. Um, and so, so, so this is called geotargeting. Exactly. And uh, I can show my keywords only to the people within the area that I can, I, I'm selling. Exactly. Okay. Which means that I can pay more and get higher. Mm -hmm. Uh, and target in, in that fashion. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Now, now, how about time of day? Day parting is is a wonderful option, especially for the business to business. So, what is day parting? Tell us about it. Day parting is is restricting your ad to certain hours of the day. So, for example, if you're an eight to five business and you're talking to other people who are eight to fivers, you really don't need to have your ad up at three a.m. Right. 7 p.m., things like that, when people aren't paying any attention. They're at home, they're with their families. They, they really are not thinking about your business. You might as well have your budget being spent at the optimal time of day when they're actually searching for your product. I would guess you ought to do some testing on that before you set those limits because some exactly. people research from home. Exactly. Any, any um, analytics tracking system will actually be able to show you a time of day and you can see trends and then set 
that based upon what your site sees. Very good. Well, thanks so much, Kate. Thank uh, you. Tell me about your business and what you do. All right. I am a search engine marketing manager for Rate Genius. They do auto refinancing. Um, I do everything from social media, pay per click, and SEO. I also do consulting. Um, you can find me at longhornkate.com or, as always, on Twitter at Kate Morris. Very good. Thanks. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. Thank you.